hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. So, I'm going to wait just a second and see how many people come on. Let's see, Victoria, we got any? I see you. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, I see a few. All right, good afternoon. I hope you are having a wonderful day today. When you come on, tell me hello. Tell me how you're doing. So, tell me where you're from. I love to I love to see where everybody's from. So, today, I am going to make an arrangement for a party. Um, so, my sister's child, Allie, is a ninth grader, and they are having a party or a dance. And it's a Mardi Gras themed that dance. And so, I am going to make an arrangement in one of my daddy's dough bowls. Um, our dad, my sister and I, um, daddy makes dough bowls. He makes just different bowls and different things. And so, Robbie um, brought me um, one of daddy's bowls. And I am going to make a big Mardi Gras arrangement for you today. And she brought me some sparkly stuff. I've got masks. I've got all sorts of things. And so I am excited about this. So what I did was I took a liner because of course this is a wooden bowl. And so I took a liner and I actually put just a piece of styrofoam down underneath. And then in the liner, I put some Oasis. So you can kind of see where I taped it in. And so it'll hold water, so my flowers will stay fresh. I am gonna put some fresh flowers in here. Not a lot of fresh flowers. Um, more sparkly and fun than I am fresh flowers. So I taped everything down real well. And because my tape is showing on the side of the bowl here, I am going to come back with some Spanish moss and just tuck it in around that liner and cover up cover up my, um, my tape. All right. So you can kind of see where I'm just taking that moss and just covering up, covering up that tape there. Okay. So I'm going to start out with, she went and cut me some magnolia leaves and they're a little dry. They're not just beautiful. They're a little dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, um, this is Rust-Oleum spray paint. And I am going to exit from this phone call. Y'all forgive me. Um, I'm going to take some Rust-Oleum Gold spray paint. And I'm just going to pop these leaves with just a little bit of gold spray paint. Now, this gold paint is not going to hurt this magnolia foliage at all. Now, I would suggest painting outside because paint smells bad. But it's not going to hurt your magnolia foliage at all. I'm going to take that foliage. And I'm going to just use it as a base. I just broke a couple of the leaves off, so I'm just going to tuck those right in. Miss Melissa Flores is from Yukon, Oklahoma. Oh, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here, Melissa. Miss Judy Rodare says, so excited to see you live from IC, Indiana. You are so creative. I love your design. Oh, thank you so much. You be careful in that icy weather. Kyle Dunbar says, hello from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Hello, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for being here this afternoon. Miss Tracy Wells says, hello. Hey, Miss Tracy. Miss Carla Justice says, hi from Charleston, South Carolina. Hey, Miss Carla. Thank you for watching. Miss Evelyn Hudson says he makes beautiful bowls. bowls. Hello from South Carolina. Thank you so much. He really, did. when he retired, he just loves woodwork. It's just fun to him. And so when he retired, he started making those bowls. And he makes, he makes all sorts of things. You never know what you're going to get as a gift. And so, um... Robbie lives close to mom and daddy, and so Robbie usually gets first pick because she's there more than anybody else. And so this is a wonderful bowl. He's made me several, but they're a lot of fun to design in. So all I'm doing, and you can see it's got bumps and bruises on this, on this magnolia. I'm just taking it and just hitting it with just a little bit of spray paint. And all it's doing is covering up any of those marks that is on those leaves. So you can kind of see how it kind of sparkles and glows. Okay, so this arrangement is actually just going to sit. It's going to be in a dark room. These children are probably never going to see it, but it's more for the adults than it is the children. 
So it's going to bump up against a wall. It's not really going to be seen all the way around. I'm going to make sure there are some things on the back, but it's going to kind of bump up against a wall. So you can see how it, it kind of glitters there. Now I'm going to come back with pretty foliage. So I have some pittosporum. I have some tree fern that's kind of um, just, it's feathery. I've got some, my mind just went blank. It is eucalyptus, it's spiral baby blue eucalyptus. And then just some other pretty foliage. So I'm just gonna come in with a little bit of this green just kind of on top. Um, the magnolia is just so large and I don't want it to be your main focal, but I wanted it to be pretty and gold and I don't know. So I'm gonna just come in and tone it down just a little bit with some of the regular foliage. So this is, um, this is, Pittosporum, and it's just the dark green pit. Give us a little bit of height. And really, Robbie just wanted me to make something pretty. So I have freedom to completely do whatever I wanted to, which is always fun. Allison says, hello, hello from New Hampshire. Thank you, Allison, I'm so glad you're here. Miss Sue says, hello, love your videos from Illinois. Hey, Miss Sue. Goodness, we've got people from all over today, mm -hmm. don't we? Yeah. Miss Abby Gonzalez says, hello again from West Point. Thank you, Miss Abby. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Miss um, Angela Dunlop says, hi from a windy, snowy Northern Ireland. Northern <laughs> Ireland. Wow, wow. Thank you for being here. I'm so thankful for all of y'all being willing to watch me do flowers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm just coming in and I'm just filling it up with just some pretty greens, just to kind of give me a little bit of, um, of interest to the arrangement. So I don't know if you can see it well, but there is our foliage. So next I'm gonna come in with some flowers. And the flowers that I've chosen are purples and greens and yellows. So I've got some purple glads, and look how pretty purple that is. It's just a really pretty vibrant purple. So I'm going to take some of these and stick them in the top. And like I said, the flowers are just kind of an added bonus to this arrangement. I'm gonna come in with lots of beads. Mardi Gras has lots of beads and masks and all sorts of things. And so the flowers are just because I wanted to. So I've got these pretty purple glads and I am gonna pop those tips out of the top of those glads. And when popping those tips, it, it forces these blooms down here to open up if I pop that tip. I'm not exactly sure the scientific reason for that, but it does help to cause the flowers to open up all the way down the, the stem. I also have pretty purple stock, just really pretty purple stock. So Mardi Gras colors are gold, purple, and green. And so that's why I have the gold leaves painted in there. I'm gonna use some green bells of Ireland. And for my gold, I'm gonna use some yellow sunflowers. I thought the yellow sunflowers would make a really pretty, a really pretty show in this arrangement. Kyle Dunbar says, I love watching your videos. I'm going to a Mardi Gras party this weekend in Oklahoma City. Oh, wow, Kyle, I hope you have a good time. Mm -hmm. Miss Wanda Dill says, watching from Luca, Mississippi, love watching you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. All right, so there's our purple. And you can see even in this video how receding that purple is. It's not easy to see. It's not an easy color to see. Um, so I'm going to come back with some brighter colors. These are the Bells of Ireland, that pretty bright green. I'm going to pinch this, this little tip, just those little, that little piece of greenery out of the top. Tuck us a few bells of Ireland in this arrangement. Miss Mary Galloway is watching from North Car North Augusta, South Carolina. Love your videos. She thank says. you, Miss Mary. I'm so glad you're here today. Thank you. Thank you. 
Lola says hello from Yuma, Arizona. Arizona's a long way away. Hey there. Miss mm -hmm. Sue says love watching you. Thank you, Miss Sue. Thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm. So y'all, I'm really just tucking flowers here and there and everywhere. I really don't have, um, I haven't really thought out exactly what I'm doing in this arrangement. I'm just coming in first with my flowers and then I'm going to come in with, um, with all of the fun and sparkle. So I'm going to make, these are the sunflowers and you can see how they're just that bright yellow. I thought I would tuck some of those sunflowers in to give us a focal. And then we're going to come in with our masks. We've got lots of masks. Robbie, my sister, picked up um, some sparkly sticks I'm going to tuck in. So I don't know if you know anything about Mardi Gras. I don't know a whole lot. I have never been to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. Um, out on the coast, we have a lot of Mardi Gras parties, but we're we're pretty north Mississippi, so we don't do a whole lot of Mardi Gras um, this far north. Now, some people do, but but I've never really done a lot with Mardi Gras. Um, we've done parties like this, but never, you know, lots, and we don't get out of school for Mardi Gras. Um, but... Mardi Gras is kind of tacky. It's sparkly, it has lots of glitter, lots of beads, lots of sparkle. And so it's not your traditional, it's not a big fancy party, it's just a, little, a fun party. And they wear masks and they wear all sorts of things. And so that's what we've got is lots of, of sparkle. This is my Solidago, I'm gonna tuck some of this in there. But it's just a fun party, I think. Ms. Sharon Gine says, or she's from Houston, Texas. She says, I really love watching your video. Thank you, Ms. Sharon. Thank you for being here today. Miss mm -hmm. Tracy Wells says, it's very pretty. Thank you. Well, we're fixing to start with the fun. We're fixing to pop some of this fun stuff in here. Okay, so I've got my flowers in. And of course, my flowers really aren't going to be what you want to look at necessarily. Here comes the fun stuff. So, my sister brought, this is just gold sparkle, lots of glitter, and I'm going to be sparkly when I'm finished. So, I'm going to just tuck this stick right down into that foam, and they're kind of on, they're kind of on like a, it's a wired type of little stick. So, I'm going to kind of fluff them out just a little bit and tuck those in there. And like, I'm going to have glitter everywhere. Everywhere. Um, Robbie brought me these curls. So these are just kind of curls. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to be sure to pull off the little tags. I'm going to tuck a few of those in. So really with Mardi Gras, it's just bigger and be bigger is better. Really, when it comes to Mardi Gras, lots of glitter, lots of sparkle. And all I'm doing is just tucking these right down into that oasis that I've got the flowers in. And I'm just trying to fluff these little curls up just a smidge. Miss Doris Caudron says, love watching you make beautiful arrangements. Thank from you, Miss Doris. Thank you for being here today. She's from the far north of Canada, Hay River Northwest Territory. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's very cold, far north Canada. <laughs> okay, so these are some berries. You can see how they're the purples and the golds and the greens. And I'm just going to tuck this whole little bush separate my little berries a little bit and I'm going to tuck this whole little bush down in there. Robbie wasn't sure what to do with those but we're just going to tuck those right down in here to give us a sparkle. Covering up our flowers so I might have to adjust my flowers a little bit. But see how it's sparkly? I don't know if you can see it real well, but it's just so, it's got lots of glitter. Lots and lots of glitter. <laughs> Another one of those um, little sparkly sticks. And I'm putting a few in the back, so just in case anybody sees the back side of this arrangement, we want it, we don't want it to be naked back there. 
Next, I'm going to come in with some masks. And so, one of the ladies brought me several of the masks. So we've got different, I've got that one. That one is the Mardi Gras colors, kind of a pink with the feathers, and then this pretty green one. So I'm gonna use them just as if they are flowers and they're kind of on a stick. So I'm gonna use them just as if they were flowers and just tuck them right over into this arrangement. I love this green one. But I'm afraid it's not gonna show up too well. Let's see. Miss Frankie Winston says Mama is here. Hey Mama, <laughs> I'm glad you are here. <laughs> Hi Miss Frankie. <laughs> okay, this one is not on this. I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna stick this one in right now. It's not, it's not staying on its stick, so I'm gonna have to replace it on its stick. But I'll tuck it down in there and then I'll glue it in just a minute. I don't know. What do we think? Up high? I like it up high. Lisa Courtney says, love your arrangements, waiting for a winter storm to arrive in Connecticut tonight. Oh, goodness, goodness, Lisa, y'all be careful. I guess y'all are so much more used to snow than we are. Um, gosh, be careful. They're saying that they like that mask up high. You like the mask up high? I think this one's kind of hard to see, but it's pretty. It is pretty. Oh, I like it. The masks look so cool in there. Aren't they fun? <laughs> They're kind of neat. Okay, next we have, what else did Robbie bring me? I've got ribbon that says Mardi Gras. And then I have beads. We have to put beads. So I've got all of these fun Mardi Gras beads. So we've got all of these, these fun Mardi Gras beads. I'm just going to tuck them over into the bowl and just kind of let those pour out. Do you think that works? Mm -hmm. I like it. And I've got pink and purple. Oops, and I'm throwing them on the floor. Lots of beads. This Joanne Rhodes says, wow, look at those masks. Aren't they fun? <laughs> they are so fun. So I'm just kind of, so my bowl is pretty deep, so I'm kind of just tucking the beads just right down into the bowl. And what we'll do is when we get there, I might actually, I might put them on a wire pick. That would be better. So I'm going to take them and put them on one of these little wire picks. So I'm going to take it yeah. and just take that pick and wire it on one side and then take it. and wire it on another. And what that's gonna do is when I insert this down into the foam, it's gonna keep those beads in place. See how they're just kinda hanging out? Mm -hmm. This is Joanne says it's 82 degrees here in Goose Creek, South Carolina. Wow. That is really warm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Are you expecting a storm? Do you think there will be a storm? And it's that warm. Usually we're, we've got a storm brewing. Okay, there's some beads hanging out of the arrangement. And I've got a few more sparkles. You can't really see him, so I'm going to make sure that we get him attached higher before I take his picture. Okay, so since it's kind of blank right here, I'm going to make us a bow, and I'm going to work on this guy. Let's see. Let me take a piece of wire. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to take a little piece of wire and I'm going to attach, attach this stick to this mask. So I want to make sure it stays in the arrangement. 
Miss Joanne says it's no storm, just spring coming. Just spring, what mm -hmm. a wonderful thing. Spring is my favorite. I don't know, I always say, I don't, I, I think each season is my favorite. I'm always the world's worst to say, oh, this one's my favorite. I love fall, I love spring. Summer in Mississippi is too hot, so I don't love summer, and winter's just cold. But the wonderful thing about winter in Mississippi is it's, it doesn't last but a minute. Just a minute, and then here comes spring. But I love spring, I love Easter, I love all of the, the spring colors. So what I've done here, guys, is I just took a wood pick and I attached it to the dowel stick that they already had on the mask to give us some length. My little, uh, my little ribbons. So it gave us a little bit of length. I'm gonna do one more because I want it to stick up high in that arrangement. So I'm taking this wood pick, I'm laying it on the bottom down here. I'm just wrapping it around to give us some, some length on the bottom of this, this mask. And then this is just corsage tape. It's just a paper tape that we use to make corsages and boutonnieres. And the reason I am taking and taping this pick is because I don't want it to slide loose. It's just gonna help me keep that, those two picks together. So there we go, I gave it some length. And now I'm gonna tuck it right back in that arrangement so it'll stay in place. And I'm gonna move this stock because I don't want that stock to take away from my mat. I'm gonna move him over here. Miss Melissa says that is so fun watching Isn't that from fun? Oklahoma. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you're here. Tuck that to give us a little color back behind that mask. I loved the Mardi Gras colored mask, but you can't see it as well in this arrangement. Okay, I'm gonna make us a bow here because I feel like that's a, that's a, um, it's just too blank here. So I have some fun Mardi Gras ribbon. I have, of course, we've got the sparkle. That's a green, kind of a green and gold. And this, is gold and it says Mardi Gras, it says Bourbon Street, and it has some of the little mask. So it's just kind of a fun. And then I have another a purple ribbon also. So I have this royal purple. So I'm gonna make us a bow and kind of tuck it right in there just so that it's not an empty place. So I'm gonna just start with this purple. And I tell you, if you wanna see how to make a bow, I have several bow um, tutorials on Facebook. So if you'll go on my Facebook videos, you can see where I teach you how to make several different types of bows. Um, but I'm just going to put several loops. I've got the purple and the green. Miss Faye Wilburn Moore says, always perfection. Love this. Oh, Miss Faye, you're too sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so I am going to take that gold Mardi Gras ribbon and I'm gonna make several big loops just so that you can kind of see that it's Mardi Gras ribbon. Miss Dottie Abercrom Abercrombie says love it. Hey, Miss Dottie, thank mm -hmm. you so much, thank you. Okay, so there's our big bow. Just kind of a big bow. I'm gonna take a little wire and I'm going to wire it together. And we're gonna fluff that bow up just a smidge. And I think it's gonna take two wire picks because I've got my foliage kind of deep in there. So I'm just putting this, the wire that I tied the um, bow with onto this wire pick and I'm just wiring it right in place. And I'm going to add one more stick just so that it's long enough. And I'm going to tuck this guy right in here. I'm going to leave some blooms on my stock. Okay, so I don't know about y'all, but it's kind of messy. 
it's looking a little messy, but I will straighten it up before I take it to the party. But it's, and that's really kind of Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is kind of messy. Everything's a little messy with Mardi Gras. But I'm going to adjust this mask and kind of get him sitting up there so you can really see him. But it's just a lot of fun. Everything's sparkly. Um, it's hard to see with this background. And I'll take a good picture so that you can see it with the background. But don't you love the feathers tucked in there? I wish I had lots of big feathers. That would have been fun. But there we go, guys. It's got fresh flowers. It's got foliage. It's got a big Mardi Gras bow tucked in there. Lots of sparkle. Um, and so it's just a lot of fun. And you can see how we hung all our beads. I may even try to take some picks and hang some beads down in there. I'm not real sure. But, but it's a lot of fun. I thank you all so very much for being here this afternoon and watching me create this fun arrangement for my my niece's party. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. And if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see, let me know. I'd love to make something that you'd like to see. I know one lady wants an Easter basket, and I am happy to make an Easter basket. I'll make it in a few weeks. Guys, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all real soon. Thanks, guys.